Welcome to the homework for Grade 1, Module 1, this is Lesson 24. Get your name here first. And we're practicing math facts, uh, all addition. Solve and sort the number sentences. One number sentence can go in more than one place when you sort, and you'll see what that means um, once, we, once we're done solving them. That's, that's when we get to the chart in the bottom half of the page. But first, we're just going to solve all of these. And let's see, 5 plus 1, that's a, that's a plus 1, so 1 more than 5 is 6. 2 more than 6 is 7, 8. Right. 2 plus 3, you might think of that one, uh, that's uh, 2 plus 2 is 4, so 2 plus 3 has to be 5. You might think of as a doubles plus 1. 3 plus 3 is a double. And 7 plus 1, that's a plus 1. 7, 8. 2 plus 2, well, that's a double. It's also a plus 2, but that's 4. And some of these are backwards, right? We have our add ends here on this side. That's a double. And here's a plus 2. Ways to make 10, those are very important. This 3 plus 4. That's going to be, think of that one as 3 plus 3 plus 1 more, right? 3 plus 4. 3 plus 3 is 6. If you know that one, that one has to be 7, right? And we have another doubles plus 1 down here. This is one of those backwards ones, so the total goes first. Five plus, uh, 4, if this was 4 plus 4, then it would be 8, but it's 5 plus 4, so it's 9. And here we have 10 equals, ooh, this is a plus 1 in disguise, really. But when they gave us the total, then we have to figure out what could we have that we have to add. If we add 1 to it, if we add 1 to 9, then it's 10. And then here we need a total for 5 plus 2, Well, that's a plus 2. So plus 1 would be 6, so plus 2 is 7. Okay, now we solved them all, and now we're going to sort them. Let me shrink this so we can see the chart and the, and the totals, the equations that we have. So we're going to look. <clears throat> First, we'll just do the doubles, right? We'll write down all the ones that are doubles that we see here. Uh, we have a 3 plus 3. equals 6. We have 2 plus 2, 4. We have a 4 plus 4, 5. We have, I think that's all the doubles. All right. And then uh, now we're looking at for doubles plus 1. And we're not going to cross them out as we go. And that's what it meant, meant before when it says that one of the number sentences can go in more than one place when you sort. So you'll see, like before, we had the 2 plus 2, where I mentioned that was a plus 2 and a double. So we're going to end up writing that one down twice. So we're looking at doubles plus ones. Doubles plus ones, right? So uh, I think I talked about these as I saw them. So this one here is because if that was 2 plus 2, right? That's a doubles plus 1 because it's 2 plus 3. So 2 plus 3 equals 5. And then that's the double. That's a plus 1. That's a double. That's a double. That's not a double. Double plus, Doubles plus 1s, you recognize them because the numbers are right next to each other. Like 3 is right next to 4. And if you saw a number line, they'd be right next to each other. So that's a doubles plus 1. 3 plus 4 equals 7. Because the double would be 3 plus 3. So the double plus 1 is 3 plus 4. And then we have 5 plus 4 equals 9. That would be, you're thinking of the double 4 plus 4 equals 8. Here it is right here. So 4, we could just write this as, we don't have to write 9 equals 5 plus 4. We can write it as 4 plus 5 equals 9. And 
that's all of our doubles plus one. Now we're looking for our plus ones. Oh, here's one right here. The very first one is five plus one plus six. And here's a seven plus one. And our plus uh, plus one, plus two. Here, this is actually a plus one. It looks like a, it's a one plus, right? But it's also a plus one. So let's write it as a plus one. Nine plus one, because we add in an add end of one. So it's a plus one. Plus ten. And it's backwards, because here it says ten equals one plus nine. But it's the same number sentence as nine plus one equals ten. So that's a plus one. And those are all the plus ones. And now we'll look for the plus twos. These just be the ones with twos for add-ins. So here's one right here in the first row. Six plus two equals eight. Right, finish that plus sign. Be messy. But here's two as an add-in. Right, we can write that as three plus two. Right? Plus five. No, oh, there's two plus two. Four. There's eight plus two. Equals ten. Any other plus two? Oh, there's the five plus two. This is written with the total first, but it's still a plus two, right? Because it's five plus two equals seven. And then we have mentally visualized five groups. Mentally visualized five groups. That's just another trick. These are that's what all these are. They're all just mental tricks for remembering math facts that you can use so that you can use to remember a fact or or if you know one that's close to the fact that you're looking at you can use it to remember. So mentally visualize five groups. Those are, think about those five group cards. That's what this is. So if you're looking at a five group card for six, you may be thinking of one, two, three, four, five. You have a five group and one more. Now we're already used to looking at that and seeing as five and one more and that's six, right? So a five group card, it's just, that's, that's what it's going to be. You're looking at five and one more, five and four more, five and two more, and then you just get to recognize what that looks like. Just like when you see the dots on a dice, you see four corners with one in the middle, that's a five. You don't count them anymore because you just recognize that that's a five. Just like you recognize the number five. So these are going to be five pluses, right? Five plus something more, maybe. So I would think this five plus one, that's the one I just drew, right? So sometimes visualizing these cards can help you remember uh, what some of these math facts are. So 5 plus 1 equals 6. And there's other other ways you can use these mentally. Just that image of 5 and 1 more is a 6. And then we had one else for 5 group cards. Um, we had a 5 plus 4. Although usually for a 10 group, a 10 frame or a 5 group card, you're going to think of 5 and 4 when you see this. 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4. You're not going to think of 5 and 4 more. You're going to think of you know, 10 with 1 missing, usually, is how you think of it. But 5 and 4 more, 9. And then we had another one. It's 5 plus 2. 5 plus 2 more. 7. And now we have write your own number sentences and add them to the chart. So we're going to write three new number sentences, three different ones that aren't already up there, and we're going to add them to the chart. I'll use a different color for that. You don't have to. You can use a just regular pencil. That's fine. 
but uh, I just want to show it with a different color. So right here on number sense is an end to the chart. So let's see, how about another double? How about 5 plus 5 equals 10. And you can just make one up. You know, it, uh, it has to be a true number sentence, so make sure that the addition works out uh, and you have the right total. Um, and let's see, so, let's see, I like totals of 10, so, do we have an 8 there? We have an 8 plus 2. Do we have a 6 plus 4? No, so I'm going to have 6. Well, we want to we use doubles or uh, doubles plus 1, or plus 1s or plus 2s, right? So, let's make it, we don't have a 6 plus 1, do we? Plus one equals seven, and then uh, let's try a double plus one. We have two and three, three and four, four and five. So how about one plus two plus three? And now we put them in the right place in the chart. So the 5 plus 5, that's a double, right? So that's a 5. I'm going to put that up here. And this 6 plus 1 equals 7. That's a plus 1. So I'm going to put it here with the other plus 1. 6 plus 1 equals 7. And then we have the 1 plus 2 equals 3. That's a doubles plus 1. You could also put it down the plus 2s, right? It could go either way. I'm going to put in the double plus 1. Plus two. Equal. It could also be a plus one, really, couldn't it? Equals three. So it could have gone in three different columns. But that's you know, that may happen for some of the ones that you use. If you don't use the same ones I do, uh, it may come up that you can put them in more in one place. That's okay. Just pick one. <laughs>